I wanted to build a QRP CW transceiver that I could control using FL Digi. I will cover the project over the next couple videos. I chose the 49er kit for the base of this project and I'll go over it now. So make sure to subscribe and give the video a like. The 49er is a QRP CW kit originally designed by Wayne Burdick as a simple project that would give you a usable transceiver when completed. It operates in the 40 meter band and is direct conversion using crystals for a set frequency. The current version claims 3 watts at 12 volts, but from what I've read online, that is overestimated. While the original kit is no longer available, they are still available to buy and manufactured in China as a kit containing the board and all parts needed to complete the build. The kit comes with two needed crystals, but they are at a frequency of 7.023 MHz, which is in the amateur extra portion of the 40 meter band. So if you do not have an amateur extra class license, you will need to purchase two additional crystals of the frequency of your privileges allow. I have provided links below in the description where you could buy the kit and the additional crystals if needed. The build is pretty simple if you have soldering skills. I wouldn't recommend this kit for an absolute beginner because of the tight component layout, but there isn't anything overly complicated. There is two torridge you'll have to wind by hand, but it doesn't require many turns and was simple to do. If you plan to use a VFO instead of the crystals, there is a PDF outlining the build order and what changes are needed that I will link in the description below. There are some negative reviews online about the included instructions, but I found them sufficient to follow and the build is really straightforward. Due to the tightness of components, I started with the smallest components first and finished with the largest. I was able to finish the build in an evening, only spending a couple hours on it. It was nice to see the kit also included a 50 ohm resistor to use as a dummy load to test with the transceiver. I provided the recommended 12 volts and the 49er came to life and was operational with no adjustments needed. Using my SDR Play RSP1A, I was able to view and hear the CW tone generated by the little 49er. Since there were no CW transmissions at the locked frequency of 7.023 MHz, I wasn't able to test out the receive function at that time, but as I will cover in future videos, the receive side works great as well. So if you're looking for a cheap project that is actually useful when you're done, then the 49er is a great project for you. Make sure you subscribe to the channel as I'll be adding a VFO and creating a keying circuit that allows me to use audio output from FL Digi to operate the 49er transceiver. Also, if you could give the video a like, it would help me out. Thanks for watching. Ma, do we have anything at all? No, we're just going to have to say good night, I guess. All right, so I'm going to say good night. Have a good week. And uh, we'll catch you when we catch you, as they say. Uh, if you don't see me first, uh, that's good.